All right, we're gonna have we're gonna have Dingo Cloud against Cap, uh, who's a Diddy Kong. This is a loser's quarters match. Cap having taken out, I believe JD. No, I think it was Kamikaze in his last match and JDA Seven before that. So, pretty good wins. And at this tournament, uh, Dingo took out Xanos, which that's also that's also a very good win for him. Losing to Gadiel, the star, in winners. And right now we got Cap off to the early lead, but obviously it's Cloud, so all it takes is a a, a side B wouldn't kill at this point, but if he got the finishing touch, then Diddy Kong would definitely be dead. Oh, he opted to go for the neutral B. Didn't really get much out of it, but... He has something. Not enough to kill. No rage. Oof, another up smash. Cap off to a very good start. Only a minute gone, he has the first stock, and it's only at 48%. I have no idea how this matchup goes because Cloud's a new character and actually I'm not sure how the matchup goes, the Cloud matchup goes with any character, but I guess maybe Cap knows more than I do because he's in the lead. Not by much now though, Stingo went for the F smash. I feel like I don't know, the one thing you need to avoid uh, besides Cloud's limit shenanigans, this is F-Smash, which he didn't do, because this F-Smash is actually really ridiculous, because it can kill you, like, in criminally low percent. Well, after being down by a lot, Dingo is bringing it back. Bringing it back quite nice. He has the limit charge. Oh, get some good damage off of it. This is about 20%. Dingo wisely taking the banana for himself. But gets thrown off stage. Uh, this could be it. Nope, no, no attempt at an edge guard. Game's pretty even right now. Ooh, good down smash. He should be able to make it back. Has to waste his lemon though. That's basically the key to playing against Cloud. Once you get this lemon, just get him off stage and force him to use it. Good down smash. Needs to get rid of this stock. Alright, there we go. Forward air is not gonna take it. He's gonna make it back. Yeah, he will make it back. Now, Cap doesn't need to play around here. He needs to take out this stock quickly because if he gets forward smash, or maybe even F smash, he's dead. Or maybe up aired. It's gonna be very pivotal to get this next stock. Whoever gets this next stock first will definitely be in the driver's seat. Alright, that was... I saw what he was trying to do there. The band was there. Oh. Oh, side B takes his stock. <sighs> oh, down there. Cap had such a good start, but... pretty. It was a pretty dominating start, but... Dingo managed to adapt and bring it back, and now it's basically even. Thanks to that up smash right cap, and now he's doing Diddy Kong thing. It's a good combo. Two to the double back air to the forward air. I want to get more. Just one back air this time. This was the pivot grab. I'm not sure if that was an input error or what, because I feel like a regular grab, grab would have sufficed. Oh, he has his limit. Now, I've played against Dingo before, and he is very patient with his limit. He will... I feel like most clouds, once they get their limit, they'll... U okay, well, let's use my own words. But usually, Dingo will save his limit forever. While most clouds, they'll get their limit and then use it rather quickly. He's... He's, uh... Getting a little predictable with, uh, his side BZ. 
uh, Dingo has been able to intercept him quite a few times, but he's going to have to quit that because... Oh, Lord. That was going to be an F smash. If anyone gets F smash next to the ledge right now, they're, they're dead. Oh, up smash, not enough to kill. Diddy's up smash isn't the strongest thing in the world. Oh. That's strange. Usually... I don't know, Cloud's, uh... Cloud's side B is usually, like, basically unpunishable, but... Cap was able to get out an F smash and punish it. So good stuff to him. And we'll be going to Battlefield next. Uh, I feel like this is a good stage for Cloud. He can camp the platforms and charges them, and that's what he did against me at the last Gwinnett Brawl, and it was kind of frustrating. But that's what I get for falling for it, I suppose. He's not doing a lot of camping right now, just, you know, fighting him straight on. Up smash. It's another good thing about Battlefield, he can up smash people through the first two platforms. Drop off back here. Oh, that was bad. That was really bad. Game's pretty even so far. It's a uh, much better start. Oh, see, that's what I was talking about. He keeps side throwing out those side bees, and you know, Dingo has those scattered out. Dingo has those scattered out, so he needs to stop throwing those out. Unless he's get, unless he's about to grab the, unless he knows he's gonna grab the ledge or something, then uh, he should probably go with the side bees because Dingo, because they're very telegraphed, and Dingo has them scattered out. Is that gonna kill me? Diddy's forward smash is nothing to play with. Comes out fast. Doesn't have much in life. And kills. Good up smash by Dingo. His limit nearly all the way charged. Probably another hit, then it'll be all the way charged. Alright, let us charge. Let's see if Dingo will, you know, try to save it this time. Save it for a rainy day. Ooh. Up air to up smash good stuff. And go not teching and getting double forward air for it. That to boys and girls is why we tech. A good neutral beat. Doesn't doesn't come close to killing or anything, but it got him some good damage. Another side B, he doesn't get punished for it, and Dingo gets punished for trying to punish it. Oh, are we going to see an up air kill? You have to be very careful. You do not want to be above Cloud, that's not a fun place to be. That up air lasts like 10 years. Like, his up air and his down air last a super long time. Lifeguard. Oh, he's trying to go for the MDV right now, trying to go for the Feral Technician. Oh, good neutral B gets the... Oh! Oh, well, that was extremely delayed. That was some good DI, but it was not meant to be. Cap's going to have to get this kill rather quickly because he's just kind of getting slapped up right now. He's already at 59% on his last stock, and Dingo has his limit, so he needs to get the kill quickly. Oh, well, that was close. And he needs to quit telegraph. That's like, what he just did is like what foxes do with their side B. Like, they'll like grab the ledge, jump up, and side B, and they think it's safe. It's really not that safe. 
if your opponent has it, like, if your opponent is semi-competent, you're going to get punished for it. So, I don't understand why Foxes and Diddy Kong side, try to side beyond on a stage from a ledge and they think they're not going to get punished for it. It's it's so linear and so predictable. Like, people know exactly where you're going to end up the forward smash. Now, he's, uh, he's down a considerable amount. This isn't insurmountable, but he's going to have to work pretty hard. Though, I think if he can get him to about 70 or 80 percent and get a forward smash on the ledge, then I think that'll be enough to take it, even on Battlefield. Diddy's, uh, Diddy's forward smash is something to behold. He's got him at 38, and he hasn't he hasn't taken any damage since he took out Dingo's last stock. But now he's got his limit, and... Um, oh. Now he doesn't have his limit, but... The thing about Cloud is his li he's not like... Oh, he had the read, released it too late. Think about Cloud's limit. Oh, a down air? Nope. It's a lot of limit charge. Like I was gonna say, his limit does not take long. Oh, and the up air takes it out. So we are going to game three. Dingo has banned FD. I don't think he's a big fan of that stage. But it's understandable. And Diddy Kong's also very good on FD. He can just throw out his bananas. You don't have any platforms to jump around on and escape from the banana. And we're going to Smashville. Me personally, I don't really think Smashville. Like, okay, the blast zones. It has different, like, blast zones, but. I feel like its layout isn't like super different from FD. It's got its, I mean, it's got that one platform, but that's basically it. FD's my favorite stage, and Smashville's definitely, definitely my second best. Second favorite, I meant. Pretty even game so far. Dingo has his limit now. And Oh, that was good. Banana into another forward air. And Dingo's... Uh, is gone. This is strange, because I'm used to Dingo saving his limit for like a super long time instead of like throwing out neutral bees like 10 seconds after he gets it. I don't know, maybe it's the matchup. Maybe he just knows something I don't. But against me, he kept his limit for a super long time. It's a, it's a really good mind game, because, like, if you have a charge limit, then your opponent's scared of you. So, if you just keep your limit for a while, your opponent will be scared of you. Like, it's intimidating dealing with a cloud with a full charge limit, or a little Mac with a KO punch, or anything of the sort. Smart Red Dingo charging his limit so he could recover, but... And the back air is going to take the first stock, and Cap is in... Firm control right now. No. Well, we saw what happened the first game, though. Cap still ended up winning, but Dingo brought it back considerably, considerably, which is what he's doing now. If he gets a forward smash, then he'll take the first stock. Oh. And again with the again with the reckless side beast, like they're so they're so easy to scout out. It's not. Diddy's side B is not safe unless you, unless you know you're gonna hit him with it. You, it's not really something that should be thrown out. Ah, oh, good neutral B. Dang, definitely weaker than I thought. Wow, Dingo, Dingo did a good job of bringing him back, but now he's, uh, his deficit is considerable again, and he uses the neutral B, some good damage, 17%. Cubs down so is really good, it's a lot like Mega Man's, both just sliding and all play. See, again, with the punishing, punish side B, and... Oh my goodness. Or 
throw to get him off stage to see. He's gonna go for an edge guard. No. Something scary is uh, if you see a Diddy just running around with a banana, like just running back and forth. That's that's a pretty scary prospect because you you don't know when he's gonna throw it, and you get all of a sudden throw it, and uh, next thing you know, you're getting up smashed or forward smashed. Diddy with a banana is uh, very scary. Stage. Nice as banana in hand. Let's see what he'll do with it. Try to go for the back here. Oh, good stuff. Good bread and butter kill setup. Down, down tilt, up smash. This is the Diddy special. Now, now Dingo needs to get rid of the stock very quickly. He doesn't need to. He does not need to get grabbed right now because if he gets grabbed, he will probably take about 30 or 40 percent. When you're down, you don't want to take any percent. When you're down a stock, you need to not take any percent and just get the stock away as quick as possible. Oh, here goes the Diddy stuff. Only gets one back air out of it. Uh, Dingo has punished every single one of Cap's side Bs. Okay, that was right. Dingo needs to hold on to this remember. Oh! That. Cap had. I feel like Dingo would have been better off trying to bait the air dodge, because Cap did air dodge, because he probably knew that was coming, so I feel like Dingo should have just wait, waited them out and then tried it. Okay. But it's okay, he has his limit back again. Oh! He falls out of the side B. That's. That's. Uh, that's disheartening if you're Dingo. It's alright, it's not over yet. He still has a chance to. Oh! Oh, good up smash! And. That's it. Dingo takes it 2 1. Very hard fought set. Good stuff to both players, but Dingo can 